All right, guys. So welcome back to the channel. It has been a long time since I've done a painting video. Um, I've been busy painting a bunch of baits and sending stuff out, but I just haven't done any videos on it. So uh, today that's what we're going to do. But we're going to do something different. I'm actually going to airbrush this uh, casting reel. This is a 13 Fishing Inception, and I have used this thing like crazy. It's got battle marks and everything all over it. These reels are awesome, um, especially for the price. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna pa uh, paint this up. I've saved you some trouble and uh, already taped it up, so you don't have to sit here and watch me do all that. But basically, when you take this thing apart, make sure you take pictures and remember put everything in baggies where everything went so i put everything in baggies took pictures of it coming apart and then just taped up anything i don't want to be painted uh what we will be doing i'm going to do a base coat white and then i'm actually going to put down a pearl white over top of that and then the color is going to be a laguna blue which is uh, about wicked colors it's very similar to a bmw color which is called laguna seca blue uh, it is basically the same color, which is one of my favorite colors in the world. And uh, we're going to do this reel that color. So uh, let's get started. All right, so first thing you're going to want to do, definitely tape it all up like we talked about. And then you're going to want to clean this thing. Um, I have just got airbrush cleaner, which is basically alcohol. And we'll put this all over this rag. Clean this up. Get any of the oil and thing that might have been on there from years of using this and they actually make this reel basically in a green now too from the factory but it's the same exact reel so if you have one and you want the green one send it to me I'll airbrush it we'll make it green I can airbrush pretty much any reels you guys want but I want you all to take them apart before you send them to me I will tape them up but you take them completely apart anything you don't want painted or lost and then I'll ship it back to you because I don't want to be responsible for taking it apart, putting it back together. Uh, if you don't have a pair of helping hands and you're trying to airbrush stuff, please get some. I mean, I get it at Harbor Freight. They're like seven bucks and they will save your life. Makes things so much easier. So I'm going to try and get this light down in here so you guys can see what we got going on. And we're going to get this first one painted. I know it's uh, probably a little hard to hear with the fan running, so uh, we're going to lay down the white base coat. I might put some music and speed this up, because basically we're just going to do the white base coat and let it dry. with a pearl white. And the reason you do this, you don't have to. You could just put the blue right over your base coat. I want a little bit of that shine of this pearl to come through. And it will dramatically, can't even say the word right drastically change the color of your final color. pearl white on that that color i mean that, that is just a really good color also all right so apparently i thought i was recording the whole time i was putting down the blue paint but i wasn't so that's just wonderful but anyway 
basically did the same thing we did with all the other stages. Just took our time and went around, got every crack and crevice airbrushed up blue, looked at looks and turned out amazing. Now, I let that dry while we clean up the airbrush. So normally, with my crankbaits and that kind of stuff, when we go to do clear coat, we're doing a dipping. You're dipping the whole bait in the clear coat. Well, we can't do that with the reel, obviously. Uh, I mean, you could, but it would never work again. So, we're going to walk out here into my clustered yard with my boat and everything. <sighs> Man, those colors turned out awesome. Let me, let me look at this in the sun. Hey, look, it matches my pool. So, now that we're out here and I got the truck and the boat in the picture, this is what we're going to use. Nothing fancy. It's Rust-Oleum Large Project Size Crystal Clear Enamel Clear Coat. I actually use this little secret on my swim baits, too. Anything that's jointed and you can't dip it. I just gave away a big secret, so if you're watching, uh -huh. So, we're gonna do all this. Boom! That's basically all you gotta do. That turned out amazing! I love that color. That is nice. And if you wanted to, you could let it dry and put a couple coats of clear on. I think one's going to be just fine. Alright, so it's all done. Dry. We got it all back together. I'm really happy with it. Took all the tape and everything off. Got all the parts back together. This thing turned out sweet. So there you go, guys. You can airbrush a bait caster pretty much any color you want to. Make it your own. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see more cool stuff like this and some fishing stuff. Later.